So for the video, this is Rottweiler Lola, who is reactive to people and dogs. And I can tell you now, it's nerves. Look at her tail, her tail's not in a happy position at all. She's, she's worried. Yeah. Sometimes it does go right up over the back. That's cocky. Yeah. <laughs> look, it's nearly, it tucked under her now, look. So this is, for the video, this is typical of what people do. They walk the dog, the dog stops to sniff and the owner stop with it. Your dog has got over 250 million scent receptors in her nose. She doesn't need to stop and get her head down. When she does that, she's following a Pacific scent. When they do that, yeah. they start dragging you, following that Pacific scent with them. Right. So this is what we need to teach her. She doesn't need to have a nose down on everything. We give her designated times when she's to toilet, which makes life easier for you. Then she'll learn to do it on command. And the rest of the time, she's going to walk at the side of you. Now, what I do notice with her is she doesn't really pay much attention to you. She's just sniffing and doing her own thing. So we're going to change that as well. Right, now, pull up on the collar. Back with the lead, not like that because you loosen the collar. With the lead, there you go. Stop, 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 because you're letting her get towards him. There. Up. To disagree. There's no tension there. No, that's good. Because she was distracted. Yeah. And this tension is yeah. if she pulls. If she doesn't pull, yeah. there's no tension. Yeah. But we can't let her drive forward to people like she does. Yeah. So, like now I'm pulling to the side. Yeah. And then when that guy came, what I want you to do was just pull up, boom, and it's a split second. Right. It's not constant pressure. She's still in the bad habit of, well, this is what I normally do. Yeah. So at the beginning, there's a lot more pressure. Yeah. But you're going to, as you work her, yeah. there's going to be less and less and less. Right. So that there's nothing. Go away, she's getting too close to him. Traded. Yeah. So pull up, a quick flick up, and then relax. Good. You see? As soon as you. So now what you're going to do, you're going to keep her at your side. You can hold the lead where the white wrapping around your lead is. You can hold her about there. That's about all the lead she needs. And as you walk, as soon as she gets in front, you're going to quickly pop to the side, a quick flick to the side as you're turning so she feels the correction on her neck yeah. and sees you turning yeah. and then you can wait here oh wait. yeah he's not gonna go far with her <laughs> he's too nervous <laughs> relax nice and relax hold it on the white bit of the lead that's it relax and then turn and come up i mean she's, she's not pulling but we've got to turn you're too hesitant with her you've got to be her teacher that's that's too too firm, relax it. Right, relax but not longer. Just watch this dog as you walk past. You Keep a distance. So give her space. Come on, come on. Relax, because even you, even you, see how she's running away from people? There's your fearful dog. She's not paying attention to you, that's it. Her tail started to come up, she was like, oh my god, there's something coming. Turn her again, her tail's come up. So for you, this is why I'm saying what the signs are, yeah. so that you understand. This dog's uh, very nervous, reactive. Yeah, I don't think he's fine. He's not gonna go near, is he? No. Right. So keep her to the, as soon as these people and dogs go past, you're gonna walk her, walk her forward. It's hard to do that little flick when she's doing that. Yeah. Ah. Good. But you see how you're gaining more control. It's actually, a lot it's actually yeah. turn and go because you can hear her going. <laughs> so when I mean that's all part of the excitement. <laughs> so the the obvious signs are the tail, the ears, the head comes up. As soon as she does that, you've got to kind of keep your eye on her. You'll feel it through the lead. So as soon as you feel that tension, you flick and you change direction if yeah. you can. You won't always be able to change direction, 
but you should always be able to get enough yeah. room to the side yeah. and have enough control by the end of this lesson to not have to wrap yourself to a tree. Yeah. When you so go into the left side, it's very nervous this dog. Hiya. And then walk her down here towards us. Keep going. So there, you, again, you're getting into a bit of a drag, hence the noise she made. Keep going. Just seems tight, doesn't it? Well, you can, you can, it depends how you view it. You can have it where the bit of discomfort is tight, or you can have a lunging and barking at people so that she might bite them one day. Keep relaxed. Good. Good. You see how much better that was? Yeah. It's definitely a lot worse than the dogs are. Yes. Yeah, the people a little bit scary, but the dogs more so. But he's getting more confidence as well yeah. now. Now, see, you corrected there and there was no need to. So you got to watch that as well, because if you correct when you don't need to, you can trigger a reaction. Yeah, yeah. So just be mindful of that as well. Keep walking up. Don't let her cross you. Good girl! Woohoo! So both of you did good there. Now do whatever you could. That was a good stop, that. Do whatever you're comfortable with. If you're comfy staying to the side, then do that. Use your legs as well to nudge her across. Hiya. See what he's done straight away, he's took the lead shorter. So keep on one side now so the people know what's going on, otherwise they'll think you're dancing. Look, her tail still come up, you see. So she's still a little bit uncertain, but she didn't react. Yeah. So that's good. Bring her back down again. <laughs> so now for the video, I've got them doing different, spe uh, different paces of speed. So he's doing a slow walk, a fast walk, a start, stop. And look at the attention. Good girl. Look how she's looking at him now. You didn't have any of that on the way down. She wasn't even bothered about you. Good girl. Beautiful. Oh, she's cracking it. Dogs are a lot harder for her to manage than people. Walk her forward to me. To me. You're messing. Walk her to me. No, he's gone back into his Tom old Walker. habits. Walk forward to me. So you've got to practice this and all the lead work we've been doing yeah. before we can get her improved with the dog situation. Right, yeah. We'll keep doing this when we go out. Yeah. I mean, look at that. That's absolutely beautiful. But once she learns about lead pressure, then she'll learn with the other dogs also. Yeah. Because as well, you've, you've got her at your side now. Yeah. If you let her out in front, she's going to go straight back to what she was like. Yeah. But you've got her at your side, so you're working as a team now. That's what you want. Yeah. The lead's nice and loose, there's no pressure on her, yeah. and everything's good. So how does that feel to you if you're not normally able to walk her? And you're both enjoying the walk now. Yeah. It's not just all one-sided. Yeah. 